ギガバイト Alright, guys, let's go into round five. It is Zenith versus Space Monkey. TI3 champ is, in fact, Zenith. So we have I just want to shoot King, Ice, 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 and Dig, <laughs> Dig, Big. On the other side, Space Monkey with Bao Bao, Dan, Drakan, Clantona、uh, Basquero, and DDX. So, Space Monkey. They are gonna go ahead and first ban the Naga Siren. On the other side, it's gonna be a TA ban. I apologize, just gonna make sure that the. Yeah, so everything's fine. The overlays are not screwed up this time. And it's gonna be a Darkseer ban again. So, Naga Siren, Darkseer, those two heroes are just then almost all the time. Last game, the Naga Siren was picked, but it wasn't really paying off. So, Naga Siren just got、um, countered pretty, pretty well by BKBs, or very early BKBs on the.、Um, On the Queen of Pain as well as the、uh, Shadow Fiend. So every time she just popped the sleep, BKB before, and just right click up her to death. So it just cancelled the sleep. Now we have a Bat Rider ban by Zenith, which is really understandable, you guys.、Uh, I have talked about this in the earlier、uh, group stages.、Uh, the fact is that with the 6.75 patch, the Bat Rider really, really got strong buffs, and I mean, He's just, right now, he's a lot like first pick, first ban material. There are a lot of teams who like to first pick him now. And just how well he can dominate in these games is just showing how strong he can be. Rubik is going to be the first pick for Space Monkey, and that leaves Jakiro and Nature Prophet right after for Zenith. No hesitation whatsoever. They know what they have in mind. And they're gonna go for it. They have a strat, I guess. Jakiro, Twin Head Dragon. This, with the new Ice Path, is just a very stable support hero.、Uh, his, he has long range disable, he has you know, very cheap disable, very short cooldown on his disable. The Ice Path is just you know, basically the, the cake and the icing on the cake. It does everything. And not to mention, he's also able to help in pushing with the Liquid Fire. So, Invoker now the pick for Space Monkey. Nature Prophet, as I said before, Nature Prophet was a hero that last year was picked a lot.、Uh, we often saw him banned or first picked, and nowadays, with Nature Prophet really as a situational pick, he's still picked quite a lot, but not as often in the first place anymore. He is often gone into the second stages of the pick, and he didn't get nerfed or anything. He's just,、uh, it's just that the metagame evolved, and Nature Prophet. With the new hero's buff on Jakiro, for example,、uh, the fact that Rubik just came out and.、Um, well, Rubik di didn't just came out, but it's just、uh, after a while, you know, with Rubik coming up and everything, so Nature Prophet slowly losing his first pick potential. You rather go for TA, you would rather go for the、uh, Bat Rider, the Rubik, Naga Siren, Darks here, and especially. Now, with the,、um, the new changes to the captain's mode, we only have two bands per team. So that leaves a lot more heroes to be able to be picked in the first place. And that leaves right now we have Rubik, Invoker, Tidehunter for Space Monkey. Rubik as a first pick, as I said before, not gonna show a lot. Invoker, though,、uh, he's also a fairly, uh, fairly um, versatile hero. He can go for the aggressive、uh, Invoker build with the Exhort, even going for semi carry if he wants to with those right click damage. We saw, I think EG really likes to get the、um, uh, Hand of Midas on the Invoker to get those uh, early, uh, no, early advantage in the farm, in the gold,、uh, in, uh, in the farm, in the experience, as well as getting a lot of attack damage through the Exhort with the help of the 30% increased attack speed. And、um, all the other Invokers we saw today were the、uh, Quaswex Invokers, so. Tornadoes, EMPs. Tidehunter, also a very stable support. He is here to <laughs> deal a lot of damage with the、uh, Ravage, with the Anchor Smash as well, the Gush. Good around to,、uh, to you know, slow the enemy, good around to get the team fight. And, you know, Tidehunter is just one of the heroes who's very often picked in the first phase. So, on the other side, we have a Tinker for Zenith. And Tinker, I must say, is not so much picked anymore. He is. Um, you know, a very, very good hero. We saw, for example, Dendy's Tinker is just, when he plays Tinker, is just a、uh, very, like, a treat to see. And、um, Tinker is a very, very heavy,、uh, you know, micro intensive hero、uh, using the、um, 
the rearm at the right time, the blade dagger, the four staff, uh, spamming laser, heat sinking missile, the marks of the machine, and the dagon if you have one. Everything. And now onto the bands we have Chaos Knight, Storm Spirit, Anti Mage, and Disruptor, Lone Druid, and Night Stalker. So what's behind those uh, those bands? Chaos Knight is one hero who can lock down any hero for a long time, and this is something they don't want with the Nature Prophet uh, going around. Uh, he, and the Tinker going around as well. Storm Spirit, also one of the co heroes who is very good against Tinker or Nature Prophet. Nature Prophet Tinker TPing somewhere, and usually they're TPing alone to counter pressure lane, for example. Storm Spirit, he can be on the, you know, all the side of the river, and he will just, you know, use the ultimate, roll up to the Tinker, and just kill him. Same with the Nature Prophet. Bounty Hunter, again, picked now by Space Monkey, so Bounty Hunter seen in every single game I casted today. Bounty Hunter. I really can't say much about him anymore. This, uh, you know, s this long lane hero who doesn't require a whole lot of farm, just to do due to the fact that the track will give him a lot of gold in the later stages of the game, and it's also going to give his team a lot of, of gold. So, on the other side, we have Disruptor, Lone Druid, and Night Soccer Band. Disruptor, as I said before, one of the supports who we don't very often see, but he's still very, very good with the glimpse and everything. And Lone Druid, one very good long lane, and this is Brewmaster picked. Brewmaster, for those who don't really know the hero well, he is a very, very, very good uh, you know, substitute to Tidehunter in the teamfight. Um, I talked with Korok once, and he told me that Tidehunter, if you didn't have Tidehunter and you wanted to have something that could really replace the Tidehunter, it was the Brewmaster. His ultimate, the fact that he blinks in into a club into an ultimate is just disrupting the fight, just like a Tidehunter's Ravage do. You have enemies roaming around, you, have, you split the team fight in two with your Brulings going around, dealing damage, stunning enemies, standing them in the air, and just the fact that you can't kill the Brulings in the early stages of the game, it's, it's kind of like the, um, the Tombstone of Undying, you can't kill it in the early stages of the game, you don't have enough damage to kill it. And even if you manage to kill the Brulings, there's a lot of damage that's not coming onto the enemy heroes, like the Tinker, like the Jukiro, like the Nature Prophet. And Brewmaster will have to be careful though, because Rubik will look to steal the Brewmaster's ultimate. And it's gonna be Dragon Knight pick now for Space Monkey and a Chen for the uh, Zenithite. So, Chen, I don't know if you guys remember, there were some times a long time ago where Chen was like first pick, first ban as well in the Duda scene. And this time, it's not going to be the case, so Chen is going to be the last pick, and he's going to go in the jungle, Tinker's probably going to be in the middle, Long Lane Nature Prophet, and the Jakiro and Brewmaster on the lane, Dragon Knight on the other side is probably going to get supported by Tidehunter and Rubik, and that leaves Invoker in the middle lane and Bounty Hunter on the long lane. And I'm not really sure how Invoker can fare against Tinker middle these days, because as I said before, with the nerf to Invoker's damage, he had 38, 38 base damage. That's... That's, you know, beyond crappy. That's like nothing. I think the only guy who might have less damage than the Invoker at level 1 is maybe, uh, you know, the uh, Goblin Techies. So he's going to be forced to use Blade of Attacks as well as Iron Root Branch. And even with this, it's going to jump up to 48 damage. Whereas Tinker right now, he's sitting at 55 and he only has plus 3 stats. So over to the players. Dan is going to be on Invoker. Draken, the stand-in is going to be playing the Bounty Hunter. We have Baobao on the Tide Hunter, DDD, DDDX on the Rubik, we have Baskero on, oh, well, Clantona on the Dragon Knight, and that leaves... well, no, I, I went over everyone already, so I can't count. Ai Zai Zai is going to be on Chen, pings all over the little trance for whatever reason, Digbik is going to be scouted by Bounty Hunter, is going to be playing the Jakiro, it's going to be Ice 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 on the, on the uh, Brewmaster on the top lane. And, well, a bit of uh, harass harassment coming down. I just want to shoot this on the Tinker. And that leaves King on the Nature Prophet. Pings again. Pings, 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 pings. And we have two Observer Wards, one from each team in this side. Drakan is trying to get the rune and uh, Dig Big is just going to force him away. And he even used a Tango for this. I'm not really sure he needed to do this, but... Apparently, he's concerned about any kind of follow-up. Another set of ward planted down here. And that means that uh, they will have vision over this lane on Dan, if they want to go aggressive on him. DDDX is going to find an illusion rune, and it's going to be trial lane on the bottom lane against the Nature Prophet, and trial lane, or dual lane plus one, 
on the top lane versus the bounty hunter. Bounty hunter is going to have a fairly okay time, I guess. Do they have sentry wards? Yes, they do. So okay, never mind this. He's not going to have an okay time. In fact, he's hiding in the trees right now. Do they have vision of him? I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I said, I said, just farming, just well, just farming, fine. And uh, would you tinker? <laughs> Level one and two laser. Throwing, exchanging some attacks with the uh, invoker, and actually leaving the invoker with some place to farm, which is quite surprising. King, he's already starting to stack up the ancient. He knows that he can't get much, so instead of uh, trying to get any kind of creeps. He's going to stack the ancient, and now he's going to try to use the trends to pull the creeps up from this, uh, up from maybe there to there, or or he's going to use it to harass Rubik. That's another possibility. So let's see the last hit denies. We have, and again, so one minute this time on the overlay. I'm going to get used to it. Next time it's going to be zero second on the overlay. Invoker is on the middle lane. Against the Tinker, it's um, well, he's taking a good amount of damage, but so it's Tinker. It's 3 4 2 and 6 4 3 actually. And Dan laying quite a, uh, quite a good amount of uh, control on the on the Tinker. I'm really surprised about this. So I guess um, we have Chen now rotating on the bottom on the uh, in the jungle. He's still farming up, he has a walk in, so he can just make the life of uh, Invoker a huge pain with a tornado if that's what he wants. And um, while King still has, oh, he actually has 100 uh, experience. He's gonna find a haste rune, they might want to go on someone. Tinker, there's ping on Tinker, but Tinker is gonna run away. Tinker is gonna go for the laser as well as heat seeking missile build. Ah, uh, Bunny Hunter, you're only level 2, you have to be careful. And he's gonna be able to run away, but he took a lot of damage. And now, Titan coming in, Titan Hunter, and with the, oh, uh, DDX rotating here too. Enough damage to bring down the uh, Tinker. Tinker, he already has used uh, he already used his laser to push away the bounty hunter. Bounty hunter with the healing cell was able to heal up to full HP, and now we see that uh, Chen is actually going on this tower as well. So they might go and take this tower very very soon. Brewmaster, yeah, he's even going to use the uh, clap on the creeps here to make sure that the creeps are not going to get until uh, uh, to the tower. Tornado is going to force Bounty Hunter away from this lane as well, as well damage his creeps, and this tower is very likely to fall down very soon. King has to be careful, he will get telekinesis up. Mm, well, no, doesn't look like they want to. DDX is just going to save his mana. So first tower, falling down to the dire. Brewmaster not getting this one. Sentry Ward popped down, they don't want the uh, Bounty Hunter doing any kind of uh, weird shenanigans here. In the middle lane we still have 15 for 6 against 5 for 3, so really I just want to shoot getting shut down by Dan here. I'm really surprised about this again, but uh, we're gonna have to see how it goes into later stage of the, the game. And now we see Jakiro, and actually Jakiro getting his second level in Liquid Fire is not maxing up the Ice Path first. He really wants to get this tower, and that's how he get it. It's by, oh, he takes three tower shots as well. It's by maxing the look at fire. It's reduced the attack the attack speed from the uh, tower. Yes, the tower is uh, affected by the look at fire, and also it deals more damage per second, and it has lesser cooldown. What are they gonna look seriously? They are going on the tier three tower right now. They really want to inflict damage, and it looks like there's no answer from the uh, radiant side. Yeah, there is no answer. There's and even the sentry ward planted down here. To make sure that Bounty Hunter doesn't come in, Bounty Hunter is gonna land one hit on the uh, on the ward, but Ice is taking a lot of damage. Ice has has to be careful. Oh, he's gonna be sent back to base. So Bounty Hunter, ah, oh, Bounty Hunter, Ice Path, no, nope, not yet. Oh, this this top tower is taking a huge amount of damage. Already down to 60% health. Nature Prophet going down on the other side, and uh, well, they're still standing around. Jakiro. Might want to get a kill. Uh, the problem is the sentry ward is a bit too far into the base, uh, so they can't see it with the tower. And now we see Rubik coming down, but already a lot of damage being done to this tower, almost down to 50% health. In the bottom lane we have Nature Prophet level 3, and they might want to go on Invoker. Invisibility rune on Tinker. Tinker is somewhat low on health though. He went for the laser and heat seeking missile build, so the damage build. 
And this might be an instant kill on Bounty Hunter. Yup! Boom! Goodbye. But uh, DDX is here as well. DDX is only level 4, so he's gonna be okay. We have Bao Bao coming in. To <laughs> I wanna shoot. Has the uh, bottle, so he's gonna get some more HP. And, uh, well... Dragon Knight taking a decent amount of damage from the King, from King. Pew Pew disconnected from the game, but he's not a player, so it's okay. Go per minute. Uh, Drakian might be looking for a kill on Nature Prophet. Ping's coming up. They're going in. It's gonna be slowed. Slow on Nature Prophet, he's gonna get stunned. And now, one Flame Breath, and... There we go. Goodbye, Nature Prophet. In the meantime... <laughs> in the meantime, the little trance. Trying to stack up the jungle, the, the the entrance. Tinker level six, Invoker level six. Go per minute is panda on the top. We have uh, the uh, Dragon Knight following soon after. With the uh, well, Baba is just gonna get some right clicks from Brewmaster. Haste. Brewmaster actually leveling Drunken Haze level two and not getting a single level in Drunken Brawler. In the middle lane, Dan is taking a lot of damage. He's gonna be able to use the uh, oh, and Dragon comes in. Finishes uh, the uh, Rubik with uh, finishes the Tinker with a Shuriken toss. Big Big is not going to be able to land this uh, Ice Path, and now one more right click. No TPing it coming in, so making sure that they don't want to follow. Very good Ghost Walk, last moment Ghost Walk, saving the Invoker. And um, yeah, so it seems like um, let's take a look at the uh, experience graph. It's actually 750 experience Adventures of the Radiant and almost 3k gold Adventures of the Dire which is at this point not so much. I mean experience graph is pretty much even and gold graph is yeah 3k is still quite a good amount but you have to take into account the fact that those two towers went down very early. It's gonna help them a lot but as soon as the Radiant start taking their own towers as well they will start to get this, uh, this gold back. It's um, basically towers are banked gold. It's gold that you are gonna uh, are gonna get. And Dragonite has to be very careful because Tinker, the missile is not gonna be enough. No, it's okay. They have a salve. So there comes the salve. They want to go on Nature Prophet, but here comes Tinker. And hello, Dragon Knight. You're gonna take a huge amount of damage. But is it gonna be enough? I'm not really sure. See, Dragon Knight, two more right clicks might take him down. But is he gonna get stuck by the trends? Are you kidding me? And now Tinker is chased, but he has the uh, Jack Hero. Ah! Ping's coming out from the Dragon Knights, and the Trent's getting the kills on the Dragon Knights, <laughs> stucking him in the trees. And that is a very frustrated Dragon Knight, pinging 40 times to make sure that the, his allies know that he is very angry. The Rubik is gonna get caught by the Ice Path as well as the Laser and the Rocket. Bounty Hunter wants a kill on Jakiro, he will get the kill on... No! Very good use of the magic one. And he will get the kill, but not before getting um, hit by uh, the Ice Path. And the Fate Time will be enough to be able to make Tinker able to use the, uh, the laser on him. Invoker not gonna go on the Tinker. There's, the, there's King. And in the meantime, we have Ice 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 just pushing on the top lane. Well, the tower just got like minus 50 HP maybe from uh, the last time we saw it. But he got a Blink Dagger as well, so Hurricane Boost. He's gonna be able to join the fight now. He's level 6 as well. And he's gonna deal a whole lot of damage. In fact, Arcane Boots in a few seconds. Ah, no. He's gonna be sent back to base. He's even gonna land a clap on the creeps. Nope. So, in the bottom lane, we have King going against Invoker here. And... Nature Prophet, is he looking to get a Midas? At this point into the game, he might be looking for a Midas. He has a Glove of Haste, he could get the uh, Power Thread if he wanted, but since he's saving up, I'm gonna assume he wants to get a Midas. Invoker is going for the Dream of Endurance, I guess. He, he is um, 300 gold away from it. Eyes 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 wants to get the Fast Mechanism to be able to push even more, 720 gold away from it. Tinker has a boost of travel now, 10 minutes boost of travel. He's gonna be able to be a pain in the ass everywhere on the map. Ice Ice Ice, he's just gonna be able to blink into a fight and he's just gonna go in directly. There's a, go there's a Spiral Split. Time Hunter is only level five, he's gonna go down immediately. And now, send into the air. There's gonna be the Dispel Magic right after. Dispel the Rubik right into the uh, 
Related to the ice path, a hand of God now pop in. Whoa, who got sent back into the base? No, Tinker is back into the base. Now Dan is here. Ice 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 is on the chase, but Tornado's going in. Now Jakiro is going to get Frost, and he can't he can't use the stun because of the animation. Now Dragon Eye is going to fall to the uh, Test of Faith. Tinker is in a lot of trouble. He has no health left. He has no mana left. He's trying to run away, but there's uh, there's the uh, Bounty Hunter. He wants to get the kill. He will get the kill. And now Ice Ice Ice, he has a blink dagger, he's going to be able to blink away. The uh, Jakira here trying to save I Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 still running away. He might be able to, no he won't. There's no way you can juke with the track on you. And that is a lot of track gold coming up. 9 for 9. And the tower is still standing. In fact, it will get denied if, um, if yeah, pinging, pings coming up. So Space Monkey know that. They want to deny this tower. Tower Hunter going for 2 level in Gush, 3 level in the Anchor Smash, no level in Kraken Shell whatsoever, so aggressive build. Bounty Hunter leveling the Shrink and Toss. He wants a maximum burst damage, and he's gonna get it. Invoker leveling everything he can into, into Wex, having long range tornado and uh, damaging um, EMPs that drain the mana away from uh, key heroes like Brewmaster. He might, yeah, blink in into a clap, and now Invoker's frosted. Invoker's gonna land the tornado, but he's not gonna be able to run away. And boom, one more right click, he's gonna get the kill. Drunken Haze, level 3, and still no level, actually level 4, and still no level into Drunken Brawler. Well, 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 at least usually we see one level in Drunken Brawler, because 10% chance of critting, as well as evading damage, is nothing to scoff at. It's, and, yep, yeah, Rubik is gonna get jumped on. Ice Ice says, is gonna be able to get the kill with the Tinker. Now, Dragon is coming in, they want to get Ice Ice Ice, and Ice Ice is gonna fall down. Now, Tinker has is out of mana, the uh, Ravage is gonna pop, it's only gonna land on Chen, Chen is gonna fall as well, and now Jakiro is here, Jakiro wants to get the final kill on Dra Dragon Knight, and Dragon Knight is gonna fall to the center cans. Very good micro by Chen. And now, Big Big isn't in a lot of trouble, he's trying to run away. No, actually, he's chasing, and now Tinker's coming back, he had the time to come back, Nature Puff is gonna kill with the. Uh, are you kidding me? Is it the trance to kill the... Uh... Oh yeah, the trance got the kill again. Man, in this game, trance are the MVP of this. And... Nature Prophet even managed to get the tower in the meantime, so trance getting the tower... And also getting the kills twice... With the centaurs getting the kill once. Uh, the, the creeps in this game are really, really doing a great job. You know, we often talk about how OP the, the, heroes, is, so the heroes are. But I, I think with this, we, it just shows how OP the creeps are. And now, Brewmaster. Ah, oh, Brewmaster is gonna be able to find the Rubik. Rubik can't run away. There's Nature Prophet coming from behind using the Sprout. I, I don't know why, but for a moment, I thought the Rubik had stolen the, um, the, uh, the Sprout and sprouted himself in. And I was like, well, he can't teleport away, so what's the point? So no, never mind this. It is the prophet coming up from behind. So with with all this, it's global present. Tinker with boost of travel, the the uh, TB coming from the nature prophet, and the bling dagger coming from the brewmaster. The long range ice path coming from the Jakiro, and yeah, Jakiro keeping level one in ice path. He's just going all out damage. Liquid fire level four, uh, Trudeau breath level three as well. Not not even bothering to take a macro pyres. They want to have the burst damage. And they want to take the towers. Chen has the mechanism flying up to him. Yes, it is. And with the uh, hand of God as well as the as well as the mechanism, you're not going to be able to take down anyone in his in this team. So I said he's going to go ahead and take the creeps here. And the second tier two tower is going to fall. In fact, I'm not even sure that. Yeah, they're pinging in. They want to go for the tier three now. Tinker is going to be able to just come in right after. He still has level 3 in Heat Seeking Missile, he knows that he wants to have the March of the Machine now. And he's gonna TP back to base, he's gonna rearm and come back right after in the middle lane, uh, in the bottom lane. So the Fade Ball bouncing on everyone, and now Ice is coming in, Ice is gonna get stunned, Tornado's gonna land, EMP is gonna land on everyone, what I just wanna shoot is out of mana at this point, and he used the ultimate, the uh, Panda wants to get the kill on the... On the, well, on uh, Tide Hunter now, they are switching the the fight around, and they are not able to get him. And now it's Ice 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 blinking away, but they are able on the other side of taking the uh, tower. And now with the March of the Machine, with the rockets, 
with everything coming down, Dan is taking so much damage, they just can't fight under the mercy of the machines. Too much damage coming up. And ISSS even blinking in, getting the kill on the Invoker, he might die for this. Oh, the Hand of God falling in, and now Mechanism is going to pop as well. Mechanism, oh, Mechanism, not enough mana! ISSS is going to be sent back to base, not enough time, and now he's going to fall. But Tinker here, getting those kills, getting those, really getting every kills he can. So missiles into the laser, into the march of the machine, and double kill for the Tinker. This is the second, the uh, second, the, the range rack going down as well. And this fight, really, Space Monkey is getting absolutely overrun by this Tinker and this uh, this uh, Brewmaster. Just Brewmaster standing up in the middle of the fight, showing his big butt and using his ultimate. You can't really do much against this. You saw how all five heroes were here while the enemies were all pushing, just because the Brewlings were around there and uh, you're just having fun with the uh, with the with the Tide Hunter, with the uh, Dragon Knight, they don't even need to kill anyone. It's just the fact that they're denying this area. So, so much damage afterwards. If you want to push against, if we want to fight against the Tinker, oh, Bounty Hunter is going to run into the Nature Prophet. Nature Prophet has a Hand of Midas, he's going for an Orchid. So again, aggressive build. They want to get the damage, they want to get the Silence. With the Silence, the uh, Tide Hunter might not even be able to use his ultimate before going down. And whoop, blink into a cup, and no, oh, he's just going to walk away. Jakiro getting an early gem of true sight as well, so counter warding on top of that. You want some map vision? No, sir. You're not going to be able to walk away from your base without being afraid of getting ganked. And now we see Buru Master going for this, um, for the Aghanim Scepter now. He's still 2k gold away from it. Drakan is with his drum of hindrance as well as Phase Boots. Ping's coming in, and Tinker's coming as well. So. We're gonna look into a silence with a kill, but nope, Bounty Hunter is still invisible. Oh, Tinker! Tinker is still hiding! They might be baiting this Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter, is he gonna take the bait? He will take the bait. No, he's just gonna run away as fast as possible. Now they see the Tinker. Pink's coming up. Oh no! All the, all the smoke! Oh no! Oh! Dan is gonna fall and oh, Dan is gonna get absolutely demolished. JDX is in the fight, but he's not gonna be able to do much. Bounty Hunter is going to be able to get the kill on Nature Prophet though, and now it's going to be the uh, Rubik who falls. So Tide Hunter managed to run away. Nature Prophet even buybacks. He he doesn't care. He's just coming in. Uh, Tinker's coming in the middle lane. Not a single tower has to go down for him. He is really defending everything he can, and yeah, everyone's pushing it this time. And Tinker is just gonna TP away, TP back on the on the top lane. This top tower was already half HP, and now he's gonna it's gonna go down. And we see that uh, in fact, Draken and uh, oh Tinker, Tinker with the BK, oh with the blink, very very fast blink. And there's only three heroes here to defend, or at least yeah. And there's only three heroes. Yeah, Tinker doesn't even care at this point. Oh, tornado coming in, and now. The Panda Ultimate, Tide Hunter is going to get absolutely demolished by all these little Panda Brulings. They're even sending a Bounty Hunter in the air. Bounty Hunter is going to get focused down. Bounty Hunter is going to get killed by a laser. And at this point, I absolutely don't see what the uh, Radiant can do to go back into this game. Even having a double Mars of the Machine landed here. Tinker is going to just TP away. And well... The, the dire side just say, okay, let's go for the next set of towers. Oh, uh, they're gonna be able to catch Digbik, and Digbik is gonna fall down. Now, we have King stuck in uh, the trees with the uh, Bounty Hunter, but uh, he's slowed. And Tinker coming back, TPing in the middle of everyone, using the <laughs> Dagon, using everything, using all the spell, rearming, and now he's gonna get stunned. Now he's gonna fall down to his, uh, yeah, this was a bit too cocky. Ice Ice Ice, what are we doing here, Ice Ice Ice? He might wanna run away. Oh, very good stun here by the centaur. And he has the blink ready up. Tinker's gonna TP in. He's gonna use uh, the Mars of the Machine as well as the, uh, the uh, Dagon. And now Bounty Hunter is gonna go on him. Bounty Hunter will be able to kill him, will he? One more right click. One more right click plus the Shuriken Toss. No, he's gonna not be able to fi find him. And now Ice Ice is trying to get the kill on the, uh, on the, the Dragon Knight. In fact, King tipping in, King tipping way too far in, he's gonna go down to the dual breath. But in the same time, SSS, oh, SSS is in a lot of trouble as well. No, he's still fighting up. He Does he have another 
She doesn't have enough. Oh, one more right click. And she's got. Whoa, the clap. The magic wanted to the clap. Faggot. <laughs> Called by Drakan. Yeah, she's still alive. After all this time, you cannot kill Ice Ice Ice. Tinker is going to go in. Laser, Dagon, whatever. Just killing everyone and just TBing out of there. And now every time everyone on the Radiant team are just dead. Tinker even getting a level 2 Dagon. That's just how confident he feels of getting this game in the pocket. We have Chen, 4 Steph, Mechanism, 4 Fet, GGGGG called, well played. Yeah, and this point is fairly, fairly over. Very, very good game, very good display of skill by Zenith. Really showing why they are so good. And, well, I'm saying this, but the only guy I know from Zenith here is Ice Ice Ice. All the others, I'm not really sure, I think they are, I'm thinking they are troll names. But I remember that uh, XY or... H I, I don't remember who, I, mean, I think HY. XY will had to do um, army servers or something. So one of the Zenith guy will had to go away. Loda also uh, went away from the team. And that leaves only that leave, left only three of the uh, base hero. HY HY right now is playing for Dustbin. HY HY was in the Zenith before. And uh, Tinker is going to just be sent back to base by Chen. So last set of racks is going to fall down. Zenith really, really showing their dominance here. And Space Monkey, I mean, they they couldn't really do much to this. Tinker really playing out of his mind. And, well, these are the Mega Creeps coming up. Now Tower's gonna fall. Tornado EMP gonna catch uh, Jakiro. Jakiro is gonna get picked off by the uh, Bounty Hunter. And King is gonna find the Bounty Hunter. They're gonna silence him. He's gonna fall down to the Tinker again. QQQ as Tinker says. And there we go. Second set of uh, towers falling down. And... Well. TPing in again. Disconnection from the bounty hunter. And there we go. So... This is uh, game 5 of uh, today. And uh, game 6 will follow, I'm not really sure when, so I'm just gonna update the stream info with this. So thank you for watching guys, I was, I'm Mizrim, and I'll see you guys in the next game. See ya!